Good morning. It is the fourth day of a week on Apocalypse Food, and it's a strange one. Um, yeah, this whole routine changing thing is going to take some getting used to. Um, it used to be up super early, but now it's, I mean, yeah, another lay-in, so not, you know, silver linings and all that, but it's still very odd. I would still very much rather have some sort of routine that doesn't involve rolling out of bed uh, and straight to the computer. But there we go. It's, it's a normal YouTuber life. It's not my life. I, I've got my breakfast this morning. It is it is in, mm, it is astronaut food, and it is red seedless grapes. Super, super duper. What is the 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 the, the, the damage on this? I don't know. Two hundred nine. No, fifty cal. Oh my god, only fifty calories in this. Oh well. Let's try. Let's try some. Red seedless astronaut grapes. Hmm, these look very unappealing. Oh, they smell. They smell odd. They smell very odd. They're sliced, which is is sad. Wow, nice texture. Actually, no, it's getting all stuck in my teeth. But it don't taste like grapes. But they do taste fruity. Oh no, there's a hint of grape. There's an aftertaste of grape. Hmm. I mean, I'll eat them because I'm hungry. But I kind of wish I didn't have to. Hello, Basil. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. How are you getting on with this whole nonsense? Hmm? Yeah? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. He does not give a shit. Social distancing? Good, he says. Good. There's those chin scratches though. What? Why is this trash you're listening it's to? Trash. What is this? Disney songs. What is this though? It's from Tarzan. Oh, no wonder it's trash. Phil Collins? I don't know. Trash. Can you stop it now? I'm busy. No. I'm busy and you're being loud. I'm going to be louder. You will not. I'm not sure if I'm going to be punished for having this for lunch, but we'll see. A King Pot Noodle Bombay Bad Boy. Now, I've heard all about the Bombay Bad Boy, but I've never had a Bombay Bad Boy. And now I've said Bombay Bad Boy too many times, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what flavour Bad Boy is, but we will find out, presumably from Bombay. Um, dried noodles and ooh, coriander, cumin, turmeric, pepper, aniseed, cinnamon, fennel, which is just the same as aniseed. Whatever, let's try it. All it takes is a bit of water. So uh, if you've had a pot noodle before, you'll know exactly what to expect. Ooh, there's a smell already coming out of this. Add some hot sauce, of course we will. Oh, ooh, what's that on the back? Unleash what's inside. What is inside, pot noodle? What is inside? Yes, this already smells quite spicy, but, you know, <laughs> yep. Oof. Let's see, let's, uh, let's add the water. The fill line is generally that one, isn't it? Yes. Let's do it. So the water's all just going to disappear into there. Yeah, it's all gone. Come on, let me get you up to the fill line. And there we go. That'll do. And I'm going to ah, somehow struggle to do this one-handed. Then I've made the mistake of uh, taking the lid off, so I'll have to be do that. Oh, God, it's all gone wrong. Blimey, it just looks like blood. Hope it's not Chris's blood. Yep, it still smells as spicy. Now it's rehydrated. Are you right there in the background? Yes. What are you making eggs? I am. Boiled yeah. eggs and soldiers. Because what are you, like six? Yeah. Don't you know there's an apocalypse? But you're eating a pot noodle. What are you, like 18? <laughs> Ouch. Right, I'm going to try my Bombay bad boy. Got a curry flavour, but what sort of curry? I couldn't tell you. Oh, and there comes the spice. That's fast. 
that's faster than I was anticipating. Like no meat in here, I don't think. Just Bombay boys. I, don't, I really don't know. So many jokes I could make, but not going to. It's pretty nice. It's actually not like crazy spicy. I heard things. These things were legendary for spice, but no. No, it is not. Would you like to try my Bombay bad boy? Oh, You're saying yes. Maybe a little bit, though. Uh. Oh my god, that's way too spicy. <laughs> I won't be able to eat a whole one of those. No? No. It's nice, but yeah, it's very spicy. Yeah. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would, but. Mm. Cheers. Gracie? Mm hmm. Why are your eggs blue? Yeah, I don't know. They're not duck eggs, are they? No, they're British blue. British blue chicken eggs. It was the only things that were available. Couldn't get any other eggs at all, apart from battery <laughs> eggs, and I'm not buying them. Yeah, well, I mean, why would you want an egg with a battery in it? That just seems weird. The day is getting on, and uh, I am now recording some voiceovers for a video on my second channel. Links are all in the description. But um, this is going to be interesting. How am I going to... There we go. Um, okay. We all know that the AVGN is one of the big boys in the world of angry reviewing, and it's basically the godfather of the genre. Isn't this the sort of quality content you expect from this channel? Hey, hey, come on, we're in, we're in isolation. I'm going mad. I'm literally going mad. Making videos is all I have left. Support the show on Patreon, please. <laughs> I don't know why my keyboard's here. Dinner. This evening, something different again, and something that is technically against the rules, but we'll see that I'm going to make it, make sure it's not. It is mac and cheese pasta and sauce, ready in five minutes. What do we have? What's the damage? 215 calories, so not tons, but I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I'm still not hungry following my bad boy, so that's fine. Um, and this one, oh, October 2021, though this will last you a long time. So the actual uh, instructions say to add water and milk, but I'm gonna forego the milk. It just won't be as creamy tasting and just go for water. So got that, got my pan. There we go, sorted. What have you got for dinner? Leftover meatballs. Leftover meatballs. We'll see if I'm going to be jealous or not. Although yesterday they looked good, so... Ooh, there's my supplies for tomorrow! Right, finally starting to thicken up. It has taken a lot more than the five minutes it promises on the pack. Don't you know this is the apocalypse? I've not got time to be waiting for mac and cheese. There we go, lovely bit of mac and cheese. That smells all right. It looks, it looks pretty creamy. Yeah, let's try it. I guess this is the equivalent of uh, like a craft box that you guys would get in America, but it's not as a luminous orange. Mmm, that is scalding hot. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it, it would, yeah, you could tell it would be way nicer with a knob of butter, that <laughs> knob, and some milk. But as it is, it reminds me of one of the um, mugshot pastas that I have on the regular. So yes, does lack a bit of creaminess, but that's on me. But I'm still very much going to enjoy this. Oh, I could just do with some breadcrumbs, a bit of, a bit of mozzarella, stick it down the grill. Oh. But you know, these are tough old times we're living in. Having oh, your meatballs over there. Lovely. Mm. Good. That was actually lovely. It was delicious. This is this oh, Corona bollocks is uh, it's bringing out my it's bringing out my I don't know what that is, but it won't go away. But um, the uh, the the dinner was delicious. We we do have a Tesco shop on the way for for next week. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what is missing from it because we've ordered um, like joints of meat, um, I think vegetables, bread. So um, yeah, a little dubious about what's actually going to turn up. But 
Let's find out. Hi. Good evening. Well, there we go. Three items substituted and seven missing. And it's just normal stuff like squash, gravy granules, cat litter tray liners. So, very odd. Why are people stocking things unnecessarily? Now we don't have squash. Well, there we go. The end of another day in a week where things are just getting stranger and stranger. Uh, yeah, it's it, it doesn't feel like the apocalypse, but at times you you kind of watch the news and you think, could it <laughs> could it happen? No, it's not going to happen. We're not going to let it happen at all. But were it to happen in the distant future, then the food that I'm eating this week will see you through. Um, my breakfast was um, was not great. Don't recommend those grapes. Feel bad for astronauts who were forced to eat grapes because they're crap. And uh, my lunch, what was my lunch? My Bombay bad boy, which was lovely, and it actually surprisingly kept me full all day. Um, I, I thought I was going to be clawing the walls, but I wasn't. Maybe my stomach shrinking from uh, the sort of relatively small portions I've had this week. And um, my dinner was pretty good. Yeah, kind of wish I had some creamy cream and some butter, uh, but that's just uh, what I say generally regardless of what I'm eating, so that's fine, that went down really well. So yes, things are going smoothly, with the odd speed bump in between. Um, much like isn't real life, which is all full of speed bumps at the moment. So if you want to see how I get on for the fifth day of a week on Apocalypse Food, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, please share, follow me on social media. And, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Support the show on Patreon, please, if you can. It does help um, as we dive further down this rabbit hole of despair. Thanks very much for tuning in, and I shall see you tomorrow. Okay.